Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here, of course, in the Great War Redux mod, playing as that beautiful British Empire, or really United Kingdom right now. <clears throat> There's quite a few comments, but let's just let time go on first. So, first of all, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should form Rhodesia or not, and let's just be real, everyone pretty much said, we should have a Rhodesia, we should probably have a Rhodesia, because we can Cool. Uh, another comment was, plays Albania someday. I'm like, you know what? I've never thought about Albania before. Just saying, you know, Albania is is a nation. And maybe I'll play it someday. Uh, women and children first for the Titanic? Nah. How about no one first? And Oh, let's go to partial mobilization. That would be actually a very good thing to do. Do that. Next up, create. someone said I should create my own faction. Not ally the Germans and join the Central Powers, but just create my own faction? Maybe? I'll see what happens. I mean, I'm... At the time of this recording, I really don't know the events. There might be an event that will pull you either to all the King's Men or the Lord Protector of England, which sounds really cool. And actually, you get more attack and defense on core territory, less damage to garrisons, more daily fascism, and less high command cost. That's really cool. But you get more daily political power gain and stability over there. Another one is if I make carriers, I should have some sort of T reference um, for the name. I don't think we're able to make carriers now yet. But that sounds like a cool idea. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. If I can come up with any cool names like former East India Company carriers or something like that. If you got a name that you that you suggest that I put for my ships, let me know in the comments below. Especially for carriers, British carriers. Like I said yesterday, though, I do want to get tanks, but that's a little bit ahead of time. A little bit way too way too ahead of time. Mm, that's a little bit ahead of time too. Let's grab some logistics. We might need those. Next up. Uh, yesterday, I said that it, that the one of the songs in yesterday's video, the very first episode, uh, might get copyright claimed. It's called A Long Way to Tipperary, which is a very nice old tune. Sung or created, composed by a guy named Henry Williams? And apparently his family's estate still uh, owns it. So uh, there's a copyright claim on that video, last episode. For this video and the subsequent videos, I have disabled some of the music that I think that might get copyright claimed, so... Ooh, actually, you guys come over here. It is what it is, you know, whatever. I just had disabled, but if you want to know what the song was, it's A Long Way to Tipperary, which is a very nice tune. Also, I did say yesterday, talking about these rifles, SMLE, apparently, according to one commenter, oh, Treaty of London, nice, we had a London treaty here. Yeah, the Balkan League is victorious, cool. Nice job, guys. Good job beating up on those Ottomans. Oh, wait, we own these guys down here, too. Cool. Uh, the SMLE Mark I rifles? Well, apparently, according to the comments like I was trying to say, uh, th they were often called Smelly by the Brits, you know, who were using them during the Great War, our timeline. And finally, Henry Kitchener apparently was a dude, field marshal dude. Uh, am I using him right now? No, that's Edmund. He was a, he was a real dude. We'll put it like that, who uh, believed in some camps eventually. You know, not daycare camps or, you know, uh, vacation Bible school camps or anything like that. I don't know why I said that, but <clears throat> he proposed a scorched earth policy and stuff like that. He was a real dude. We'll put it like that. He was a real dude. Cool. <laughs> and I do have a cup of good British coffee here. So, really, I did say I want to go down a particular path. Maybe ally with the Germans. We'll see what happens. I really am open to whatever because I know nothing about these paths. Support colonial elite. As long as Germany still goes to war with Austria-Hungary fighting the the French and the Russians, that's great. But I, what I really want to see first is how the Imperial Federation plays out. Because if we can at least get like Canada, Australia, and maybe South Africa, if we don't get everything else, that's okay. If I can get annex at least those countries as core states, and we can flip to f maybe some sort of uh, fascist path, because this gets more authoritarianism and daily democracy. Actually, we might go with the Red Banner, just because... Uh, royal prerogative, you go down to the, we'll never let the old flag fall, you get more daily fascism, which is something actually I kind of want, because in most of these campaigns so far, I've been playing as a not-aligned authoritarianism type of dude. I want to see if I can just manually go to war with other people. Just because, you know, fa proto-fascism lets you do that, communism lets you do that, persecution of the Turks, the world is changing rapidly, very cool. Um, but yeah, I do want to see if I can just, like, if Germany goes to war with France and Russia... Can I just attack France as well and get, like, Normandy and Brittany from some sort of Celtic union with these guys? And I know Normans aren't really Celtic, but you know what I mean. 
Uh, armored raids, recovery rate, breakthrough. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Breakthrough for tanks. They should already have enough breakthrough. It's only 5%. The recovery rate's pretty good. Over here, though, cavalry gets more organization and everyone gets more recovery rate. I'm going to do this because we're going to use a, uh, infantry quite a lot in this campaign. In all our campaigns, we use a lot of infantry. Wow, we got a lot of artillery. I could really use more guns, though. Hmm. If that's the case, you know what? I changed this up yesterday. Why don't we just throw one on? It's only going to be 19 combat width. That's really not great. But we do have the artillery. I think that we should be able to... Well, maybe not. Maybe we don't have the artillery for it. Hey, the second Balkan War. Ah, oh, here we go again. Very nice. So that just gave me plus 11 more soft attack, which is very nice. I love the soft attack. And three more breakthrough, which isn't bad. Cool. We are still out of fuel. I... S what was that? War propaganda. Like that. Police action. Slowly losing manpower. And we can almost form the Imperial Federation. I do want to save my political power up and see what happens after that. We might need political power for this. I have no idea. Also close air support. Uh, artillery. Oh, 20%. 20% more. Oh, God. We've got to emphasize artillery out the wazoo then. Come on, the Imperial Federation. And we have done the focus. We are now the Commonwealth of Nations. Oh, we got Canada. Look at the flag. Wait, we just straight up annexed them. Do we get... Cores or anything like that? That'd be really cool. If not... Oh, we don't get cores. Oh my goodness, that's... Ooh, I don't know if I like that one. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. I hope we can get cores. Maybe there's an event. Oh, we got the divisions. Oh, that's really nice. That's actually really, really nice. We like one of these guys. That's fine. Reserve Brigade. Come down there. Thank you. You guys... You guys are... I don't even want to know. Thank you. Thank you. South Island, North Island. Uh, that sounds very New Zealand-like. Actually, I don't know how many islands are actually attached to New Zealand. There's the North Island and South Island, but they got they gotta have some other islands, right? Australian Second Light Horse, making some. Oh well, you're actually the same as everyone else. That's cool. Come over here. Nice. Hey, that's not bad. We might end up in a war with the Americans then. Hmm. Taft. A lot of manpower. Not, eh, he's got some divisions. Can't go to war with them. Hey, but hey, you know what? We fully annexed all of our puppets. It kind of really hurt our manpower a lot, and I really don't like that. And I guess now we have to wait for a fallen government as a country leader, which sounds like fun. But now we should probably do all this stuff. Let's do Legacy of the Industrial Revolution. Just be... Well, maybe not. Well, we could do, give bonuses to industry. We could add some of that, but... Yeah, I mean, that stuff is okay. Boer Blues. Wait, hold on. If I would have released Rhodesia first, could I, would, have, would have I just annex them? If I did Imperial Federation? Concentrate forces on Somalia. Hmm. Camouflage. There's a lot of stuff we should do. There's a lot of stuff. Well, you know what? Let's go and do Legacy of the Revolution first, just because we can. The Industrial Revolution began in Britain, and we can never forget that. Tyrolean Agreement between Austria and Italy, the Tyrolean Agreement was concluded, which established new borders between the countries and the mountainous region. The Italian foreign minister said that through joint efforts from this point forward, allied nations can exist in peace. Austria stopped oppressing national minorities, and Italy agreed to provide the Austrian population in the north of the country preferential living conditions in their native lands. Oh, so that's going to be quite a strong alliance. Nice. Anti-Bulgarian League. My gosh, that sounds really... You must have really pissed them off, guys. Uh, I'll go with Robert Baden Powell. Go ahead and convert everyone to infantry divisions. I know we don't have the stuff for it, but just go ahead and convert them. I know we can't really do that much with them. There you go. Thank you. And now we have 1.3 political power a day. We like to do war economy. So, really, playing here as the UK. Ooh, less damage to garrisons might actually be really good to do right now. Finance graduate. I do want more civilian infrastructure. So civilian factories, I mean pretty quickly. We're going to need some more manpower, too. Ooh. Mm. If we create this faction, what we should do is be able to get all of the ar chief like the chief of armies from all those states, from all those different countries that we, you know, basically took over. I can only get one. I would love more stability, but we can always get more stability with improving worker conditions. Uh, oh, I still own Bhutan, Nepal, and the Raj. Oh, darn, we didn't annex Raj. That kind of sucks. For now, I really want to say this. Let's see. Master Impact. Oh, that's nice to have. That's still nice to have. Mm, we already have 
two. I think that's okay. We don't need to get the civilian factory stuff. We can always get more stability later on. So I'm going to go with... This probably isn't really worth it. Baron of Terror. Save us a little bit more manpower. And give us plus 1% non-core manpower, which isn't great. But it sounds kind of nice. Logistics 1. Cool. Let's grab this. Carriers. Nice subs. I probably won't use subs in this campaign. Don't really see a point to using them. We can grab death charges. Nope, that's 400 days away. You guys, nope, that's a little bit way too away. That's all way too away. We are going to use probably long-range bombing doctrines. So we might as well do that first. Do we actually have any planes? I don't think we... Well, we might have a few. And at the time of this recording, there is a little glitch to get more planes. I don't remember exactly how to do it, but I don't really feel like doing it. I don't think that'd be cool to do that. Hey, but at least Ireland is a core state. That's kind of nice. You know what? Just in case, you never know what might happen. I'm going to put you all in Northern Ireland. You never know. Yeah, it's really disappointing that we don't get cores. I mean, it'd be cool if we get eventual cores on Canada. I mean, sure, integration takes a while. It takes time. But I kind of wish we did get cores on Canada, at least. I mean, the Canadian, they're not exactly British, but, you know, they are we have a storied history together. I'll uh, get some more resources, that's fine. We'll probably need them eventually. Actually, we're getting more fuel. Nice. It's weird. I became the Commonwealth of Nations, while the Germans became the German Confederation. Very weird. Very odd. Abyssinia, Italy, Commonwealth. Yes. Oh, do we put military police on our guys yet? Uh, you know, I could take a... Oh my goodness, how many templates are there? Let's see, that one is 18. That's not bad. I'm actually going to keep you... Everything else can be pretty much trash and scrapped. Let's see, you guys there are two. Oh boy. And this is eight. That's not terrible. That's not bad. I'm I'm going to keep this these guys here just because. Actually, I'm going to train some of you guys. Let's get rid of some of you all just because we don't have the artillery that we really need for it. So nice legacy of the industrial revolution. The impact of the industrial revolution has been disastrous for the human race. It's Someone said before. Uh, industry. Yeah, we might want to concentrate forces on Somalia. Hmm. Let's do Boer Blues first. So, it's now been almost a decade since the end of the Second Boer War, and its effects still permeate not just throughout South Africa, but throughout the Empire as a whole. We must look into what happened and why it happened. Oh boy, look at that. That's not good. I love coffee. End of the Xenohide Revolution, the Chinese Empire has capitulated. Oh, look, you know what? We have two going at the same time. Let's start building up some military factories. Two, two. I'm not really going to focus too much on the Navy because... Well, well I love the Navy. Uh, I don't think we really need to focus on it too much. As long as we make a few light cruisers here and there. That's all that matters. Ooh, nice carrier hull. We really need cruisers first. We only have nine battleships and nothing else. Is that a light cruiser? Yeah, it should be, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go with... Torpedo launchers would be cool. We're gonna put it over here. I mean, we could put torpedoes on there, but... Eh, screw it, do it anyways. Because we can. Nice, there you go. Get rid of that. Now, carriers. We can't really build the carrier up because I need more hangar space and stuff like that. We'll do that. You know what, if anything, actually build two of these. And come to the Greater London Area. Never been in London. Hopefully, maybe I'll go someday. We'll see what happens. No guarantees, right? No guarantees. Grow rubber plantations. You know what? We have the political power. Let's get some stability now. You never know how long it's going to take to get actual stability later on. Wow, that manpower is dying. Wow. Yeah, I'd say that's definitely a problem. <clears throat> with not being able to core Canada. You know what? Should I core them? I know it's not part of the game mod. I mean, we have the State Chester Tool mod here, which allows us to core stuff. Let me know in the comments below. Should I be able to core this or not? To a degree, it makes sense. To a degree, it doesn't make sense. Let me know Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Just because if I have to suppress these guys the entire time, that takes a lot of manpower. Yeah, this will, uh, yeah I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know, I'll, I like getting your feedback on, every, on a lot of things. Not everything, but a lot of things. Oh, we're out of manpower. I might just start coring stuff by the end of the video. Hmm. Can I request manpower from... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Thank God for the Raj. 
I love the Raj. And you know what? Since we have, uh... Where's that guy? Oh, I guess we don't... Oh, we have him. John French, Master Impact. So that actually helps lower their... Uh, autonomy gain every day anyways. Well, maybe they... Well, we'll double check that. Cool. Oh, wait, we can't do that? Oh, I can't do Rhodesia. Oh, that's my fault. That is completely my fault. I didn't read that. It has to stuff... Out. We have to do that first. Darn it, I love Rhodesia. Oh, that is my fault, guys. Ah, oh, that is completely my fault. I apologize for that. I should have read things closer. That is completely my fault. Uh, anyways, let's do this one for a second. So, we'll concentrate forces on Somalia. The Dervish state is plaguing your colonies. And whilst it takes place only in the least valuable colony, it's still a blight on our packs for Tonica. Oh, God, we're going to need so many guns. Oh, my goodness. We, need, we really need a lot of guns. Uh, I would recommend maybe... Yeah. Garrison's first. That's okay. We can do that. That's okay. You know what? Even do that too. I really don't want any problems with our colonies and stuff like that. Thank God for the Raj. Woo! Suffragette demonstrations here in London and over the pond in DC. You know, it is what it is. Go ahead and make more military factories. Oh, hello! Kingdom of. What the heck? Austria, Hungary, what are you doing in this campaign? Croatia and a Serbia? They don't have a unique focus tree, which is fine, but wow, that's... You guys are kind of radical. You must have went down the left path this time. Deportation of Italians, deal with Italy. There he is, T autonomy of Croatian region. I've never seen this happen before. Uh, what, since we have the political power, let's go ahead and raise conscription. We're going to need it. Yeah, I've never seen Austria go this way. Why right, don't let's do that too. It is 1913. Happy 1913, my friends. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just grab that. It's quite ahead of time, but that's fine. Expel Italy? No, they were, they, I think they went with this, maybe? Excavation. Protectorate of Serbia. Form Galicia Lodomeria. Oh, we're going to see a really weakened Austria-Hungary here. Very weakened. So, Kingdom of Serbia will annex Croatia. And form the Kingdom of Illyria, maybe. Autonomy. Oh my goodness, they can create their own faction. Oh, they can be known as the Austrian Empire. Wow, that is... Oh, that's not a choice I would have made. Well, that's just me. That, my friends, is just me. At least we're getting a little bit more stability, too. That's kind of nice. Nation building. And... Nepal, Omen. I don't think Nepal could give me that much more manpower. Could y'all? Alright, then. Bhutanese manpower? It ain't much, but it's honest manpower. Oh, they won't do it, though. Who else do I have under me? We done that. Da, da, da. Oman. Sweet! Awesome, I just need guns now. I really want to see what happens with this. When does that happen? The fallen government? Hmm. Alright, so we did that dervish state stuff. Gertz at freaking settlements. It invest in Egypt. That looks really cool to do as well. But we can't do that one, so. Let's do the best. We have the best machinery in the world. Nice, they gave us a whole 7,000 guys. God, I love being a puppet master. Actually. What should we have our agency name be? I don't know agency names regarding the UK, especially during this time period, so let me know in the comments below. What should we call our Commonwealth of Nations agency name? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, that's very, that's very nice. Oh, is it Room 40? I, I know nothing about that. Uh, to be honest, I have no idea. Sounds cool, but I have no idea. Cool. Oh, hey, look at that. We have our first light cruiser. Thank you. Nice. At least the Navy will be okay. Maybe not the Army. Maybe not anything else. But at least the Navy will be okay. Let's see if the music stopped too. Uh, let's go with... Oh, I don't know. What won't get me copyrighted? Mm, there you go. That one won't. Cool. Room 40's here. Nice. I don't want to spend too much of my factories. I really need to build myself up. Build ourselves up. Change of popularity to democracy. I mean, I guess. Even though democracy is going down every day. I'm not really sure where to put all of you guys. Uh... Put him on the border against the Americans. 
and let us do No Country Left Behind. Our breadbasket can be Africa and the Dominions. Here in Blighty, no, country, no county will be left behind. No county. Cavalry support. Mobile support. More organization, planning speed, soft attack, organization for support companies. Very nice. Nope. Neville Littleton. Douglas Haig. Huh. Wait, what is that? Alvaro? Why is that so much more expensive? I mean, yeah, strategic bombing plus 10%, but still. Um, it is coming up in 1914. We do want more research speed. Armor. Rolls Royce. We might do Rolls Royce. Is there anything we can do here first? Probably not. Cool. So that means... Hmm, I love that. Plus 20% attack. For now, go ahead and do... We can do both. Marconi. Let's do Industry. Just because I think I use Industry a little bit more than the other one. So, Stoicism, Pax Britannica. Good stuff. So how is the world doing? They're still at war fight, fighting the Bulgarians. And agent can be recruited. Thomas Edward Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Hello. You'll just be doing spy stuff at home. Just because I don't trust my spies going out anywhere. Unless I have two. Unless I have two. Good. Okay. Oh, that's 105 days? God dang. Okay, so Russia, what are you doing? Crimean Fortress. It's kind of cool. Resisted Duma. We don't know what they're doing over there. German Confederation. Claim Ostasian. You are going to be doing that stuff over there. Sino. Chinese Intervention. Italy, what are you doing? Developing colonial ports. They guaranteed Albania. We don't know which way they're, or what way they're really going to be going. France is going with a political effort. Contest the Republic's authority, or reinforce the Republic's authority. We got some resistance in New South Wales. I think that's Australia. Germans, as we develop, some mountain soldiers, and the Ottoman Empire is doing threatened parliamentarianism. So they went down this right path. Cult of Young Turks. So they're going fascist. Proto-fascist. They d don't like Russia. Huh. Ban Turkism. Man, Turkey seems to have a very complicated history. I don't know that much about Turkish history at all. At least the time of this recording. Oh. Mustafa Kemal stops being a general. That doesn't sound very historical. Is it? I don't know. Mask of the Fear Enverism? Sick man of Europe. Open the road for Tehran. Oh, they go to war with Russia. That's kind of fun. Still out of fuel. And we're doing so much better on guns now, though. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, let's get that up there, too. I, I want to throw more guns on here, but... I think it's best to wait for now, because we still need more support equipment. To, but mostly more artillery as well. We're building ourselves up very nicely. Honestly, I really don't want to get into the war early on. I want to make sure everyone else kills each other first. That's always a good plan. Raj. So, it doesn't look like that they are raising their autonomy at all, even though I'm getting more manpower from them or garrison support. So... Nice. Very nice. Very good. Can't believe we even got support from Bhutan and Nepal. Just not Egypt for some reason. Ooh, Calvary Lowlands. Nice. Uh, Three guys there. I know I'm mixing up these soldiers all together, but it's just cheaper this way. No county left behind. Next up, we shall do. When does that happen? Fallen government. Uh, wool. We get two civilian factories. So there seems to be a pattern here of Britain producing all the best stuff in the world. This is no different from our for our excellent quality wool and cotton, which we must support. Yes. Since we're here, we're going to make these guys beefy. Just because these are going to be the tanks of... Before we have tanks. At least make them 20 combat width. Let's throw on some good stuff here. Artillery, that's nice. And that's all the army speed we have. Which is... Meh. Not great, but whatever. There you go. Thank you. We have some political power. And we can build up more rubber, but we don't really need it right now. First of all, we're going to get you and throw you right there. Thank you. Have a good day. Next up, material designer, artillery research speed. I'm going to go with weapons, just because there's more weapons we need to research than artillery at any given time, which is okay with me. Ah, another light cruiser. Very good. Nice, we have another full army. Yeah, America, what are you up to? You have Woodrow Wilson. Everyone doesn't like... Woodrow we'll Wilson, but we really like America. We might go to war with them. I doubt it, though. Hmm. They don't have a lot of... Well, we have more manpower than them. 
Well, they are on Disarmed Nation, so that actually makes a lot of sense. Offer military access to... Can you create a faction? Oh, there goes the Portuguese Republic, thank God. We prefer the kingdom. You never know if we might have to get married to them someday. Nice, look at that. Beautiful. George Harper, Almer Hunt Weston. Let's go with Henry Horn. Transylvanian Agreement. The new ally of the Germans. Oh, they actually allied. It actually might be much better if we ally with the Central Powers on this campaign. Because Austria Hungary, you look disgusting. This is incredibly disgusting. Romania, without Bukovina, this looks really disgusting. Ugh, actually, Romania. Carol the first. Hello, Carol. That is a strong Central Powers. This first industry, too. Very cool. Uh, we also grab that. And we get construction, two as well. Beautiful. Just go for three. It, we have a bonus to it. 79 days isn't bad. And China is hurting itself in its confusion. Commonwealth Raj. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Uh, what is Japan doing? I, we're not really talking about them too much so far. Buying government. non aggression pact with the Germans. Kind of hanging out. It's almost 1914, which means it's almost time for a really fun year. Form Galicia Lodomeria. Cameroon administration. And we have wool in the UK. Or the Commonwealth of Nations. For the love of God, please. The Great Neutrality Crisis. Ah, so we gotta wait quite a while and then we can choose what we what we do. The brightest. Well, we might as well continue going down this path because even though I like going down here, it seems like a lot of fun to do. I want another research slot. So, oh, we can't do this. We need more than 75% war support. Oh, how do we get more war support in this? Hmm. Well, let's do the brightest since we just get a bonus of electronics. So, we produce some of the smartest scientists known to man. For now. Yeah. Institute press censorship, more democracy. Well, let's see what happens. There's a lot of waiting and building up first. Wow. No one wants to become proto fascists under Kitchener. The Fabian Society? I don't really know what the Fabian Society is. It sounds kind of cool, it sounds kind of interesting. Who's Fabian and why does he have a society? Nice to hear, I guess. Liberal Party really isn't uh, feeling too good right now. And actually, BD, since we have you and a lot of command power, we can do Lone Wolf. Mexico is capitulated to Mexico. Cool. Concealment. Um, when organizing a large fleet is a difficult task, so is using a small fleet to its maximum potential. I'm going to go visibility minus 20%, I suppose, just because, I don't know, we can. Retreat decision chance, because we can. I don't know. You never. You always want to make sure that you have enough stuff for your soldiers. Your admirals, your command traits, powers. Words are hard. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness, we're going to definitely need to uh, get some more slots here. Holy cow. I should take that one off. And if we want to, we can build up a dockyard, but... Cool. Machine tools, too. Nice, we got all the stuff for 1914 done. Happy Happy New Year, my friends. It's, you know, already uh, 1914. It's February 1st, actually, but that's okay. Building ourselves up very nicely. War economy, we have have to have more war support. And you know what? I'm going to go with this, just because this is the year we're going to start researching tanks. I'd love to get victors, but that's also pretty good, too. Nice. Very nice. Train, man, train. The country needs you. Everyone's countries need them. Denmark, we go with Denmark and a tree, but they don't really probably do much. So Austria completely renounced her claim on Sud Tyrol, which is... There goes Mexico again. Interesting, to say the least. Uh, we need to get some bombers as well. Man, between 1910 and 1914, there's not a lot of research, but the, by the time you get to 1914, everything just opens up. Go and do two, go ahead and do two, go ahead and do four, and do five. Yeah. We need planes. We need uh, ships. Even though ships can kind of wait uh, for this, let's go and get better fighters first. Because I want to make bombers. There's so much. There you go. Cool. Mm. Ah, the brightest. Good. Good, good, good. Invest in Egypt. Let's now do. To get over here, we can do that, do that. Let's do dockyards. I like the dockyards. Gather the Imperial staff. Eh, let's get those dockyards first, because we can. So, naval focus, 20 naval XP, which, well, that's, it's okay. I doubt we'll get here in time. We, don't, we already have five. That's actually really good. Five dockyards on that one. That's actually pretty darn good. 
15 dockyards in total. Uh, since we have a little bit of naval XP, let's throw this here. Get some of that, and then get some of this. I always like putting a little bit of armor. Actually, that's not bad. Seven and a half? Usually, I thought it was five armor that you start off with. That's not too bad, actually. With the garrison support manpower stuff from the Raj. God, I love the Raj, man. Heart the Raj, love the Raj. The Raj is our buddy. Oh, hey, look. Now we have Galicia and Ludomeria. Oh, actually, you still have cores on them. Man, you are really weakening yourself there, Austria Hungary. Oh, my good. Hold on. Look at that guy's name Pavets Alexandrovich. That might be how you say it, maybe? Oh, Austria Hungary. International staff. Well, is it really international staff if. Hmm. Multinational army. Well, good luck with that. Let's go ahead and grab better. Uh, we're going to need some of this, but we're going to go with tactical bombers because we probably to fight over quite a large range of territory. Now, it's 1914, and I'm going to assume that the French are probably going to attack the Germans. South administration, what is that? Is that for colonies? Ah, the state of Southwest Africa. Makes sense. While Germany is decolonizing their areas, I've just annexed everyone under me. Revoke the Vavani administration, which sounds... Oh, they want to reinforce the Republic's authority, so they're going pretty historical for now. Well, as far as, as historical as they possibly can. Wow, they get a lot more manpower. Patriotic fervor, limited rearmament. They'll probably go with Fra Plan Number and get all states running back. Yeah, after we have to be after June 1st, which is next month, they need more manpower in the field, which I might tamper with stuff in the background just because I want the war to happen. Some sort of war to happen. Naval focus. Um, please have a fallen government because we need to... We need people to fall and stuff to happen, but we have intercontinental dockyards. We get a whole four naval dockyards, which sounds like a lot of fun. And mobile support, very cool. Let's grab trench assault. More soft attack, more organization. Reserve brigades, we definitely need to make these better, but we don't have the supplies for it. You guys, oh my goodness, how many pieces of artillery? Oh, we don't have any more. We have no more artillery. Field hospitals are going to be incredibly important. Let's throw in some artillery on these guys, because we lose recovery rate. We take more supply, lose a little bit of organization, but you get more soft attack and breakthrough, which is always something I welcome. Always welcome it. Plane-wise, naval aircraft, fighters, carrier fighters. Just make sure our fighters are the best for now. That's fine. Let's go and do this. Bop, bop. Edmund. Edmund. So really, I think it's probably best if I tamper with stuff in the background, just to make sure that... Okay, hello, Pantarania. Hello. Enver Pasha. The, U the Ottoman Empire seems to have an amazing focus tree. They seem very fleshed out. It looks very, very interesting. I have to play as the Ottoman sometime in this uh, campaign. In this, not the campaign, but, you know, this mod. Yeah, that's actually really, really cool. That being said, I think it's best if I do mess around with stuff. It is June 8th, 1914. Maybe we'll still go to war, but I'm thinking... It's probably going to be the French attacking the Germans because does this? They well, they might go to war with me. The Germans might, but they need seventy-five ships, and they're probably not even close. They can go to war with the Russians, but the Russians need to have less than forty-five percent stability. Now, I played as the Russians before, but mm, they might not lose stability. Empire of the Sun, lullaby of war. There you go. Cool. France Ferdinand survives assassination attempt. God saved Austria-Hungary from great tragedy. They had 63% stability, which isn't bad. Put them over there. That's nice. This stuff is coming along very nicely. Well, to be honest with you, we're doing pretty darn well. Even though we have deficits of artillery and guns, when do we not? Like, for real, like, when do we not have deficits of stuff like that? It's a case. Uh, I need more artillery first. Boost that up first. That's not looking too bad. Go over there, enter continental dockyards, and we shall probably end with fighters. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully we'll get this, the fallen government, but the next thing we'll do is ship repair speed. That's amazing, 25%. Oh yeah, I like that. Uh, let's gather the Imperial staff and see what happens, and let us finish this off with another research of artillery guns. Nice. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, my friends. Uh, like I said, I'm probably going to mess with stuff around in the background just to make sure that the war actually happens. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow, as we will hopefully have some sort of great world conflict. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.